Today, I'm watching every 5-star character demo back to back and plopping the 16 of them onto a tier list. I'll be ranking them off of three major factors. Their visuals, so any fancy editing, typography, or custom animations that they bring to the table. Their audio, so how well the song captures the spirit of the character, and whether or not I listen to the song on my own time or not. And the gameplay presentation, or how well the demo sells me on the character's mechanics and makes me want to splooge $400 on a single banner. Thanks for that. Kazawa? We're going to be going through chronological order. So Chi Chi was the first five star character demo September 4th. So before the game had come out, now let's see what they brought to the table. So the first thing to know is obviously is that this template that they're using for Chi Chi was normally what they were using for the four stars. Like they used this for Kaya and Shang Ling. I am a zombie and <laughs> God, she's so cute. Forgot what comes next. I want to build a snowman. Oh wow! Oh, that's cool. I wonder if they have like a custom wind go through to like really ruffle the grass and then sync it up with her animation, or if this was just like a coincidence, like this just happened naturally and they just timed it right. I like that. They're obviously the production values here are not that high. They're really not doing any custom animations or like crazy over the top motion graphics, but. There's still a nice little attention to detail with stuff like the grass ruffling. Orders received. I should have stayed indoors. Ooh. Ooh, I like that transition. Also, her song is great. This part right here, where it transitions from being all tranquil and leeway esque to kind of like grungy, that like warmly synth. It fits her really well. The only major issue with Chi Chi's demo, outside of the average edits, is that they don't really show off the skills. Like if you watch this, you'd think that she was a main DPS, but they don't really show how her burst heals anyone who attacks marked enemies because they're more focused on showing her normal attacks, which, let's keep it a stack, is not the main draw of her kit. I think overall the trailer does do a great job of showing off her personality and especially her cuteness, but because it's not a good showcase of her kit because the visuals are pretty basic and because the music while fitting for her isn't really a toe tapper i think this will sit at the bottom of c it's not bad but knowing what demos wait for us later down the line it's hard to not feel underwhelmed by chi chi's demo all right next up we have mona now it's been a while since i've seen these demos specifically i have watched most of them but like this one it's been half a year i am astrologist mona magistus Meaning the great astrologist Mona. I'll never forgive her. Dude, I have pulled Mona between uh, three different accounts. I have pulled her eight different times. This girl will not leave me alone. <laughs> so I have a blood feud with her. I love her to be. I mean, she's good. But like, god damn, dude. Leave me alone, you hussy. Ooh. I like that, uh, that little mini time lapse. And these swinging transitions are really clean. rid themselves of material desires. Only by ridding oneself of clutter can one see the true world around them. Alright, little combat showcase. They are making our attacks look really cool. Nice. I like the lineup with the burst. Let me scry. Okay. And basically showing off that it is a nuke, it does big damage, and it hits a lot of enemies, right? The the field on it, the AoE on it is really big. They didn't really show her E as a taunt, though. They could have held on that shot of the five treasure hoarders that are circled around it for a little longer, and then have a clip of them all trying to attack it before it explodes, and I think that would have shown it taunting a lot better. Didn't they show it, like, when she uses it, that she dashes back? Okay, yeah, so so they did show that aspect to it at least. As it is, someone could maybe mistake it as a damage multiplier for the burst, or just something else entirely, but it's not a huge deal. And they did capture the essence of her being a broke-ass bich, so that's a plus. For some reason, even though I, I think I liked the song more, I feel like it was also less memorable than Chi Chi's. Editing was about the same between the two of them, and I'm gonna try to order the boys inside the tiers from left to right, so I think... I think I'm vibing with that for now, but we can always go back and tweak it as time goes on. But yeah, I think Mona's C tier for now is totally fine. We might not even need D tier. So you know what, I, even preemptively, I'm just gonna get rid of this row. I feel like that makes a little bit more sense. All right, Kaching. So fun fact, Kaching was actually my most sought after character before the game came out. I saw this and I was like, oh my God, I need this girl. She looks so fucking cool. She sings. 
Come on, enough procrastinating. Oh god. Oh, please. Of course they're gonna use the one line that you hear a thousand times over if you use her for any span of time. Ugh. We live in an era of change, as the old order that has existed for a thousand years is about to be- This is a good showcase of how Liwei Harbor looks, too. Really pretty. Oh, that's a great spot to show her doing her combat. Love that Chinsei village location. This is the thing here, right? She's like, oh god, she's spinning upside down? Ooh! Also, <laughs> I just, uh, you know. I mean, like, sometimes, sometimes they know the the goods to, to show the boys. Alright. With also, I'm not gonna lie, dude, I literally, I watched a couple of these before uh, doing this recording. Even though I've seen this demo, I forgot that Kachin could disable their Ruin Guards if he just aimed the stiletto up at their eye weak point. I literally forgot all about that till now. And that's why this is an S tier character demo, because I'm learning something new. Ah, oh, God, she looks so cool. When your heart is set on something, you get closer to your goal with each passing day. And I love that little delay between using the burst and then it blown up and uh, you know, hitting the boys. They do a really good job of showing her full kit, but to be fair, it is easier to show off everything a main DPS can do because it's still all attacking as opposed to what supports like Chi Chi or Mona can do. The way they used the stiletto and the rune guard was such a cool example of the creativity and flexibility it brings to the table, but I'm surprised they didn't show it for exploration. Using it as a kickstarter for climbing up cliffs or reaching hard to get oculi was a godsend while playing through initially. So I was already sold on her before the game came out, but I feel like showing the exploration would have sold me on a whole nother level. But overall, uh, I think that was still a really great trailer. Also, dude, I love the stinger in the song. You get closer to your goal with each passing There. Day. Oh, God. It's actually a really hype song. Yeah, overall, I think this is a great character demo, especially for comparing it to the stuff that had come before. The only one that runs laps so far is actually Fischl's. I think Fischl has such a weird amount of production value and like hype behind her compared to everybody else. Yeah, th this demo came out April 2nd, so this was way before the game came out. Hey, you know what? Even though she is the four star, I think we make an exception and we also include Fischl's in here because it's genuinely really good. But uh, for Kaching specifically, I think this is a great B tier. Like if we were just comparing them as they were now, she would be an easy A or maybe even like bottom of S if Fischl would be uh, like top, right? Just knowing what comes later on, knowing the competition that she's going to be up against here and now, I don't think she can make it to A tier, but I think B is a very solid place. Again, because of that demo, she was literally my most hyped five star. Okay, so you know what? Fischl might as well just be a five star, all right? You know how dummy thick the damage output from Oz is anyway. All right, she belongs with the crew. I've also been using her a ton lately, the past like couple months, and oh my god, she has been so much fun, especially with Yoi Mia and Child. Oh, oh, you are Japanese. Hold on, let's get your subtitles in. Oh, let's rewind. But yeah, dude, Fischl is so much fun. I actually love her to pieces, and she's really fun in Honkai too. And evil has been lurking beneath the surface of Mondstadt. Again, I shall send forth the Night Raven and unveil the truth. Oh, sorry, I think this is Chinese, not Japanese. My bad, my bad. Dude, Oz's voice is amazing, though. Dude, and that's- there it is! Dude, they went so hard on Fischl, they literally gave her the first instance of a custom animation, and it's such a fucking cool one, too! She can canonically fly around his eyes. Why don't we get this in the game? Imagine if maxing out an Archon statue granted flying, like what Final Fantasy XIV does by unlocking flying once you've unlocked all the ether currents. Like imagine just being able to take flight and soar around Seiren Island or Zhuiyun Karst, but you only get it when you get 100% completion for that area. Oh, gotta be so cool. And the flip that she does too, look at that! Dude! Literally straight out of Honkai. I love it. Look at the transition too, dude! But more importantly, listen to this song. This song is such a banger. Ah. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Ah, the laugh! Another custo animation with Amber? Man, I wish we could snipe Baron Bunny with anybody. Listen to this song! <laughs> 
圣才之雷吗？有收获。小姐，冒险家协会的工资。The song is incredible. It shows her relationship between herself and Oz. This is such a godlike trailer. It's so good, dude. Oh my god. Okay, we don't we don't have her thing here. Uh, here, this this is gonna be hers. Oh oh, I'm dragging it. Oh oh oh, over to A. It's definitely there. Uh, just just imagine if she was part of this template. Now she would be an easy top of A tier, maybe even bottom S. I'm actually serious. Now, Venti, in my eyes, is sort of like a soft turning point. We went from getting pretty bare bones in game animations and all that, to them really going ham with all the custom animations and really putting their all into the production values behind the trailers. <laughs> Oh. I love Erica Harlicker, but this is a great voice for Fancy too. <laughs> oh, 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 love it. oh, I love everything about that little sequence right there. And Venti's song is a banger too. I feel like accordion in general is just so underutilized the game soundtracks. It's so good, man. Ah. Look at it! Do the typography? Are you kidding me? Come on! Love the way that they're showing off that he can launch enemies. Here we go. This is actually what sold me on Menti. This part of the demo is like, oh my god, he can fly on his own? Oh, sign me up. Oh my dude, and the editing's so good. <laughs> Ironically enough, I actually didn't even care that much about what they were showing with this burst. I was more impressed with uh, his hold E. <laughs> oh, dude. That final little sequence, especially compared to the rest of the boys, uh, this probably does the best job of showing off Fenty's kid. Between that and then the clear step up in production values, the amazing intro sequence, right? That animation uh, with the Electro Sisson was great, especially when it transitions over to his character art. Love that to pieces. I think this is an easy A tier. Now, Cleese, I feel like everybody sleeps on. Cleese is actually one of my favorites. Spoiler. <laughs> Wait, hold up. I'm gonna wait, wait, wait. I actually do want to. I've never actually gone through and read the text. Oh, you know the consequences. Oh, also, I actually never even realized that they have some chromatic aberration going on on the edges here. Yeah, on all the text. Huh? I never noticed that. It's so subtle, but cool. Solitaire confinement. Way worth it. The fish tastes so good. Strongest fighter in Mondstadt. Well, maybe I'd rather pick Master Jean personally. The blessed princess. Tornado. Noel, confinement room, should be strong. What? Dude, why is this just R slash Kenshin impact every time a character comes out? Oh god, I'd rather have so and so. Oh, they should be stronger. What is this garbage character we have? They only do like 300,000 damage every hit of their burst. Ooh, yuck. You mean that little girl? This must be. Hell yeah, there she is. Okay, so let's go. Let's actually watch the whole thing without me uh, pausing through it. I'll get shown. Ah, oh, it's so stylistic, man. Hmm? Are you here for playtime? Oh, with and you know what? Uh, we don't need CCs anymore. So. Okay, so you'll be in charge of this. She demo. is really cute here in the demo. Which means you won't clean the second you see Jean coming. <laughs> Let's go! I'll be real. I'm not a huge Glee fan. I just don't care about her that much. But she is very cute in this demo. Jumpy Dumpy! This is my special total not for fish blasting extra exploding formula. Oh, I love that. <laughs> Oh, I, I forgot about that. Yeah, she's like running around as the boys are getting blown up in the background. Ooh, we get a little custom story. Clee, you know the consequences. <laughs> oh, I love it. The solitary room that defies all laws and physics because you look through Jean's window and it doesn't exist. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this song is so good. This song so far definitely has the most personality. Oh my god, the slow walk as it's- oh dude, that's so good. 
<laughs> oh, that's actually perfect. <laughs> oh my. Next time, let's go fish blasting together. Dude, oh my god. Uh, yeah, as I forgot about a lot of the stuff in this trailer. I especially, dude. <laughs> This slow walk is everything, are you kidding me? But it's fitting, we actually hear Klee's theme a couple different times through our character demos and stuff. Like anytime she shows up, she gets her little emo motif. And I feel like that really shows just how strong this character demo's theme really is. Uh, start to finish, this is an easy S tier. It's not my favorite, I I'll keep it a buck. It's, it's definitely not my top five because I just don't love Klee that much. But in terms of the really creative and cool visuals, the amazing theme that is stuck through time, and then of course, just the absolute chaotic nature of it, right? It fully encompasses and embodies everything that makes Klee, Klee. And this is definitely, I think, the minimum benchmark that all character demos kind of had to reach from this point on, right? Not only do we have to do a really cool showcase of their skills and start including some custom animations and all that, but now we really need to encompass their personality. We need to bring their personal story into the demo to really sell them not only from a gameplay side of things, but from the story and they do such a good job of it. Next up, we have my boy, my main man himself. I've been away for so long, I've almost forgotten the cold of our home. You know I grow restless when life is ordinary and boring. Though in Liyue, fuses of excitement can be found everywhere. Dude, this song gives me huge goosebumps. This demo is really special to me because imagine it. This was before 1.1, before we got the conclusion to the Liyue arc and got to fight him in the Golden House and do his character quest with Tusser. Before this point, when you thought of Child, you really just thought of this sly, charismatic playboy, but you didn't have anything else to go off of. This was the first time we got to see him in this really intimate light. It was such a sudden shift to the child you were used to from 1.0. And I love the direction they took with him in the demo, man. I'm a simp through and through, and I can acknowledge this, but watching this for the first time was truly a Leo, special experience. Fuses of excitement can be found everywhere, just waiting for the right spark. Oh man, oh, in this sequence. Ah, oh, yeah, let's go. God, I wish we could do this in the game. Oh God, it looks so cool. He's so handsome. That little distortion is cool. Not much of an adversary, but enough for a sideshow, I guess. Here we go. Time to end oh. this. Now's our chance. Dude, at the time, I w I definitely didn't mind that this is what his range burst was. Show it again. Time yeah, I really this. didn't mind that, but oh. now looking back, I will never forgive them for not giving us his whale. Now's our chance. That's so. I love this is like the first time they've really acknowledged the constellations, which is interesting, right? It'll be an easy God, I was losing my shit when I saw that melee stand switch, dude. Oh my God! Your brother has just been taking care of some trivial matters here, really. But Tonya, rest assured, the future that Saritza desires, the future the people of Shnezhnaya desire, it will be had. Man, it's definitely one of the most intimate trailers out of all of them. It's not super over the top, right? There's actually not a whole lot of high octane stuff, right? We get our little waterfall sequence here, and then, I mean, obviously the combat showcase, but nothing that's like really that crazy. But either way, really great character demo. It's really hard because I'm biased. This is my favorite dude. These two boys right here are like my favorite duo in the entire game. I don't think it's as flashy, as insane as Klee's. I think from like a visual and a music standpoint, Klee's does win out over Child's. Child's, on the other hand, just as well captures his own personality and it uh, kind of goes hand in hand with like learning more about his character. So it's still really good. And because of that aspect, I would put it at the same level as Klee, but because Klee does two of the other aspects just a little bit better over Child's, I, I feel like I have to order it that way. If I'm just being subjective about it, then like, boom. Actually, and you know what? This is my list anyway. You know, fuck it. He goes above Klee. I bestow that upon him because he's my boy and I can do that. I'm allowed to. So next up, we're going to watch Albedo's. We're skipping over a certain boy for a reason. Literally every time a new character demo comes out, I have to go back and watch Zhang Li's to compare it because it's 
<laughs> Spoiler alert, a pretty good one. We're gonna skip it for now, then circle back and we'll watch his as the last one. For now though, we're about to witness one of the most underappreciated demos out of them all. This is Timaeus's newest design. Quick roast on Timaeus, let's go. Hmm, a commendable achievement. 20 more years, and perhaps we can let him make a start on the textbook sucrose. <laughs> Get his ass. Today. Oh, that snap is everything, dude. I love the way that this shows off Dragon's Mind, too. This is just as much Dragon's Mind's trailer as it is Albedo's. Normal tech animations look so cool. Burst forth. Such a cool way to show the elevator, man. The style in this trailer is so next level. Oh, dude, that little bass drop. Come on. Showed up clean together. Oh, they're so cute. Moments of birth. And here we go. The universe. Sable essence of the starry void. Goosebumps, bro. Earth, the accumulative memory of time and being. Soil, the origin of alchemy, the basis of all life. God. Shock. It's so good, especially dude when he's doing the the slow fall right here. This is one of the prettiest fucking shots out of all the demos. Of the starry Upside down in Mondstadt, the the amber glow. Oh, dude! All of the intrigue that this demo alone brings to his backstory and his lore. Oh, it's actually godlike. It's so good, and it's so underappreciated, which makes me so mad. Everybody's sleeping on my boy about Abaido. Abaido. Sorry. Substance from which primal life is molded. Freedom, big man. Yeah. Ah, oh, dude. God, dude, that dude. It's so subtle, but the way that they transition the the air effects when he does the burst there. To there, the way that they uh, they mask it with this air current. Ah, oh, it's so clean. This entire trailer, start to finish, so clean. And then, Three? no, not at the crucible. Such a perfect way to cap it off, too. Oh, dude. Ah, oh, love this demo so much. This isn't just an S tier. For me, this is in my top five. They keep getting better and better at putting a personal spin on these demos. The whole upside down sequence is just art. It's beautiful, man. The combat showcase is the slickest one we've seen so far because they really make his elevator and his burst look like a blast to use, especially with Klee on top. Start to finish, this is a whole package. But also, I want to say, for the sake of distributing these tiers a little bit more evenly, I'm going to bump Child and Klee to the top of A. But if Albedo is my favorite underappreciated S tier pick of the list, we're about to watch one of the more overrated ones. Ganyu's is an interesting case. I actually don't really love her as a character. I feel like she's kind of boring, if I'm not going to lie. She's kind of boring to play as, too. Big number is fun, but, you know, char trot spam is not the most engaging thing in the world. That said, though, this demo, it's nice. Like I was talking about with Child, right? It starts off so intimate and serene, and I love that aspect. Sweet flower, so-called because of its high sugar content. As a food, it's not the healthiest option. But feasting my eyes on it works wonders for my mood. So, I cannot permit you to trample And, I just want to throw it out here, the song that plays in Ganyu's character demo is another top 5 track of all time. It is such a beautiful remix of the leeway theme. Flowers. Born of ice and frost. Here we go. <laughs> the moment that forever encapsulated Chi Chi and Kanyo. Please don't touch my horns. Huge Coco Goat oh, moment. Let's go. Careful. Don't sleep by monsters. 
That's so huh? cute. So I was asleep? It was just a dream. All hail! Blaze over! And she's so pretty. Look, even if I don't love her that much as a character, her design is fucking 10 out of 10. And dude, I loved, sorry, I kind of glanced over that, but oh my God, look at that, dude. Oh, that is gorgeous. It also really shows, I think, I mean, all these character demos do a really good job of showing off the animations, but Gani specifically, like one of the reasons why I love Genshin specifically so much is every single attack animation has such a Fucking strong silhouette behind it. Everybody, when they do their attacks, do so much more than just swinging their arms. Like, they always put their entire body behind it. The posing is always so dynamic and fluid, and Ganyu is such a beautiful showcase of that specifically. Aw, oh, look at her. She's so pretty. That's a great demo. That's a great demo. Music app. Oh. Oh, do we have more? That's a. Oh, we do. I don't remember this. Aw, no sleepy time. Cute! So, uh, yeah. Uh, it's hard for me to really say. I think as a character demo, it's actually really good. It does a great job of showing off her burst. Actually, I didn't really pay attention to how they were showing off her E. But then again, who, who even cares about the E to begin with? Obviously, she's all about the Frostblade arrow, and they do a great job showing that off to you. Music is phenomenal. The custom animation stuff is really good, right? It's not like super crazy over the top adrenaline pumping or anything, but it's pretty. And they do a really great job with the motion graphics uh, specifically. Every time they overlay it on her uh, normal attack posing, it looks so good. Uh, it's another one that I'm going to put at A. And does my bias just put child above hers? Because <laughs> I love hearing about Tanya. Hell yeah, it will. <laughs> but I will say like the moment with, with uh, Chi Chi too is like very endearing and very cute. So overall, they still did a phenomenal job with Ghanis. My own personal biases hold it back, but as a character demo, it is very good. All right, but now we get to a big daddy. Okay, I probably shouldn't use that word to describe Xiao, but in terms of character demos, a huge mama. <laughs> yeah, that's the better way to say it. <sighs> Look at him. These are bad. This demo does not play around. We are we are 15 seconds in. Really, you can just say like 10, 13, 14 seconds in. And they're like, bro, <laughs> screw that sleepy shit. All right, we're going to just pump the brakes 0 to 100 in the span of a couple seconds. And never hold off the brakes. Stay out of my way. Ah, uh, they do so much with uh, doing that like monochromatic little stinger stuff. Like there. Oh, it's so cool. And they do so many knee transitions with his normal attacks, man. Oh, sink the E to the beat of the drums. Oh, here we go. One of the cool shots in the entire series of demos. Give it to me. Oh! The price I pay for eons of slaughter, ephemeral circumstance, perpetual agony. This is so cool too, right? Because the entire trailer leading up to this moment has been all greens and teals. But now we get this contrasting blood red to completely throw a wrench in the aesthetics. This is nothing new to me. Disperse! 
So obviously this is an absolute feast for the eyes with all the effects, but my favorite part of the demo is actually the sense of rhythm throughout it. Honestly, I don't even care that much about the song. It's really good for the demo's vibes, but I would never listen to this on my own or anything. Why it works so well with Xiao's demo though, is you have all these percussion strings that get meticulously timed hard cuts between the poses. And that sense of driving rhythm is my favorite aspect of this entire trailer. Whether you love or hate Xiao as a character, his demo has some of the most memorable and over-the-top visuals out of the entire list. I mean, the entire thing is just a combat showcase, more or less, right? <laughs> they take the way that his normal moves look, which already look really flashy and cool, and somehow elevate them to looking like an 11 out of 10. So everything combined, Xiao gets an S. As an editing boy myself, half the things they do in this trailer blows my mind, and for that alone, I think it reigns super supreme. Next up, we have the girl that I actually initially missed the hype trade on. Uh, I stopped playing during most of 1.3 and then all of 1.4, so I never got Hoot Town. And honestly, it's a shame, because she is a fucking delight. <sighs> this treasure map's bow ours. We just follow it all the way. Hey, wait. Did you just hear something? Man up. You're just imagining things. <laughs> that is so cute. <laughs> Ah, oh, this song is so good. Quick, do something! The typography and the old film effects here look so fucking good. Ouch. Dude. <laughs> Order of duality, impermanence of fate. I raise this butterfly to guide thee. Ah, yeah, so many droll people. Fatui, not even worth the tease. I <laughs> love it, dude. Zombie! <laughs> dude, Chi Chi shows up in so many of these. That's my queen right there. Let's go, Chi Chi. <laughs> oh, she's so cute. See you on the other side. <laughs> Wait for it. Yeah. First time they've ever really subverted the uh, the Genshin logo fading in. If there's one overarching theme beyond, you know, super cute Halloween girl tea posing on local ruffians, it's that subversion of expectations. Which, even the editing is doing this. Like, here, you expect the slide transition to keep going from right to left, when wham! It suddenly drops right down and shows the wife instead. They're constantly doing this throughout the entire demo, and I think it's a really cool way to tie in actual editing techniques into the character's personality. She's a prankster, so of course the video itself is going to be doing a lot to try to fool you. I don't like hers as much as I like Albedo's. I think I actually would put it above Xiao's though. I think it's, it's so good at capturing her personality, and the music is definitely way more of a banger and like way more of a toe tapper than Xiao's theme is. They definitely had to do a lot more work on Hu Tao's than they they had to do with Xiao's because Xiao was already super hyped up before the game even came out, right? He was one of the most pristine beta boys in the business. Everybody loved him even before the game released. Hu Tao was like barely ever mentioned even going up to 1.1. Zhang Li and then one or two of the other Liwei gals had something to say about Hu Tao and that was literally all we knew about her. Maybe one NPC over by the, the funeral parlor mentioned her and that was it. She had no stakes in the story or anything. So they really had to go above and beyond with selling us on her personality and it fucking worked. There's a lot of Hu Tao sims out there, all right? Mission accomplished. Next up, Twitter.com's favorite Genshin character. Let's go. Dance of Sacrifice, Act 3, Flickering Candlelight. Yeah, girl. Yeah, girl. <laughs> I love the contrast. We go from Xiao with his edgy internalized suffering, the spooky Halloween Hu Tao terrorizing the locals, to Yula dancing. Woo! She's so pretty, dude. Ah, oh, she's beautiful. Look at her. I, and I love this dancing motif, right? Because also all of her normal attacks just look like she's also in the middle of a dance. The way that they mix in dance moves with her actual normal attacks is so pretty. Vengeance will be mine. 
on God, I feel like salsa and tango and just like banished music in general is so slept on in terms of game soundtracks. Oh, ruin. The strut on her skill, man. And then, of course. Are you here to spy on me? Cute. Uh, no, I was just worried song. you might be in trouble. Not yet. It takes two to tango. Shall we? Uh, huh? And in that moment, for the first time ever, the whole community collectively wished they could be Amber. <laughs> it takes two to tango. Oh. Uh, That's huh? everything. It's weird, right? Because she's in the exact same camp as Hutao, where she really doesn't have any stakes in the story. Nobody really knew about her up until her banner was going to be a thing. So instead of really focusing heavily on her combat and like crazy damage and all that, they're focusing a lot more on her character and doing something really unique and special to make her stand out from the rest. And I think mission accomplished. Also, the way that they, you know, they do say, hey, this girl is from the Lawrence clan. So all the manga readers are like, oh, shit, the Lawrence clan? Is this going to be a problematic queen? But then they followed up all to sever ties with the legacy of tyranny, right? So they're acknowledging the lore. They acknowledge that the Lawrence clan fucking sucks. And they're saying that, hey, Yula wants to try to break through and uh, not live up to the terrible legacy. Overall though, overall though, uh, I fucking love this trailer. A again, it's weird because I feel like because her normal attacks also are just her dancing, combined with all the times where it cuts away to her just dancing in the trailer, at least to me, it never feels like she really gets like a standout moment to really show off her combat uh, and like really highlight the crazy buku damage that she does. And also you don't really get the sense that she's gonna be a huge physical carry, which granted is probably kind of hard to convey without seeing the damage numbers. But all the same, the amount of personality that this brings to the table, I think more that makes up for that. I think the music is a fucking banger, of course, as per huge. And I would rank it above Hu Tao's. They both are doing a similar thing here where they're selling you in a character that doesn't really have a place in the story. So purely they're just trying to make money off of making a really compelling design and really interesting personality. And I think they succeed. In terms of the package that the demo is, I think it's some of the best that they had to offer. But as if they couldn't improve upon perfection, somehow the madman went and did it. Solitary cloud. Shadow in the setting sun. Mm. And Dude, I love, that's so subtle, right? But he kind of flicks away his robe, almost like he's kind of shooing away the text that's next to him. Mm. And the last line. Everybody wishing for him to be like. Honestly, can't even finish. Here we go. Show you stuff, my boy. That's my son right there. Wind Strider. I just want to throw this out here, but this is the only demo song with vocals, and hip-hop vocals specifically. Hear me out, what is hip-hop and rap if not poetry to a beat, so what a perfect genre choice for the poetry sun incarnate. They're also doing this Xiao thing where every big impact turns monochromatic for a second, but then they're also doing this cool new rewind fast forward aesthetic, almost like the gameplay itself is Kazuha's turntable. I love how they blend the genre of music with the editing style here, it's so cool. You see it here, there. <laughs> What's crazy too, right, is like all of this is just in-game animations, but the insane camera work, the fluid dynamic transitions between all of them make them look like custom animations, at least they do to me. This is all in-game though, and that's to me what is so impressive about this trailer. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I lost my fucking mind when I saw this sheath. This moment right here is what spurred me on to wail my absolute goddamn mind off. I, to this date, I have not spent as much money on any other banner combined as I spent on Kazuma's. Oh my god, this made me fucking simp out of my mind for him. And then of course, come on! Come on! Are you going to trust me? 
You follow all that up with a legendary samurai movie aesthetic. Dude, it doesn't get better. It just doesn't get any better Kid, than this. I think I got you figured out. Oh, in that case. And the little subversion really thought that he was going to duke it out with Beto. What? You mean these but then, amateurs? Of course, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was saving him for you. Love it. Oh my dude, these transitions are so clean. Are you kidding me? Oh, but the eyes closed to back open. Ah, oh my god, it's so good. Okay, one more time. One more time. Come on, come on. Saving him for you. Ah. Oh, the little jump off the bridge. Ah, oh, it's so good. Adorn my knights. My god, dude. Last line stirs the drifter's heart. Also, holy shit. Wait, I just hi, uh let's can we rewind real quick? Solitary cloud. Shadow in the setting sun. Stirs the drifter's heart. Holy shit. Dude, they literally foreshadowed what happens between him and A in 2.1. Uh, uh, spoiler warning for anyone who hasn't reached the end of 2.1's Archon Quest. Because Shadow, or A, whose name literally means shadow in Japanese, in the setting sun, which the setting sun is the symbol of Japan, it's the red circle on their flag, so the setting sun, the heart of Japan, or Inazuma in this case, meaning the Raiden Shogun, so the shadow is the solitary cloud. A resides within the Raiden Shogun in solitary confinement, and their attack in the climax against the Traveler is what stirs the Drifter's heart, who is Kazwa, obviously, because that's literally his title in the game. He is the Drifter to reignite his friend's vision. Solitary cloud, shadow in the setting sun stirs the Drifter's heart. A residing within Raiden Shogun stirs Kazwa's heart and reignites his ambition. Oh my god, dude, I'm actually losing my mind. I'm losing my mind. I get that they have to plan these story beats and stuff out pretty far in advance, but hiding the conclusion to Kazuo's story arc in plain sight in his character demo in a haiku is so next fucking level. Holy shit, dude. There's no way in hell that wasn't intentional. Well, even beside that revelation, this is an easy top of S tier. As of right now, holy shit, Kazuo's is just the embodiment of perfection. It really is. Ah, oh, I mean, hello, we just watched it. I don't have to expound on everything. We already went through it. It's perfect. I will forever be a Kazuo simp. I was ride or die day one, and all you Andys who missed out on that banner can suck my nuts, because that man is the meta, not only in the character demo compartment, but also in the gameplay, and now in the story too. We stay winning, boys. Let's go. All right, we're getting close to the end. Ayaka, what do you got? Tachijutsu is your honor embodied. Your will revealed. The wielder's mind must I like the old film aesthetic. It's a different vibe than Hu Tao's. Because they're also messing with the frame rate. It's actually really cool. Master your blade and seize victory in a single motion, too perfect to be parried. These were the words of my mother. Aww. I have long desired to learn the blade work of another land. If I may, I would like to spar with you. Master oh. Inazuma See, I'll be real, I don't remember any part of this demo, so that might speak volumes on it not being super memorable, but this song is really pretty. God dang. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's so clean in between the normal hits. I love what they're doing with the camera. Oh, a little kaleidoscope? <laughs> See, I don't remember this at all. Huh. Oh, the pirouette. Take flight. <laughs> I honestly wish they would have done even more to really sell people on how pretty she looks when she does it, because everybody's still up in arms about that dash. I think you're all pussies, by the way. Her dash is great, and I will die on that hill. Yes, sir. My lady, your form is as flawless as ever. Hey, 
big man. Although, maybe try a softer touch, so no one gets injured. Oh, was I hitting too hard? Oh, gonna cry? Gonna to piss your pants? Maybe shit and come, Toma? Toma, before the traveler arrives, spar with me some more. As you wish, my lady. I do not know the traveler's skill with a blade. But I look forward to finding out. Aww. That song is actually really pretty. Um, the visuals are good. Nothing really screams out to me though. Again, I literally didn't remember a single aspect of the demo going into this, and I watched it like two months ago. Two and a half months ago, right? I feel like I gotta put it, I gotta put it below Venti. It's a good demo, but I think what we're seeing here is Mihoya realizing they really didn't need to try that hard to win us over on Ayaka. Boys been frothing over her for well over a year, just like they were with Xiao, and honestly, I'd argue even more so. I think they could have made a Microsoft Paint slideshow and people would have still given them millions. So they probably weren't concerned with going too over the top. As it is, it's a perfectly fine demo that I'm sure still made a lot of the hardcore Ica stands real happy. Plus we got a little bit more Toma and we got a slap and soundtrack to boot. So I definitely still enjoy it. I'm gonna throw this out here. I'm also incredibly biased towards Yoi Mia. She's like my new main, love her to pieces. So probably just gonna rank her a little bit higher because of that. But also this is jam packed with memorable stuff. She's so cute. Look at her. <laughs> Dude, I read this sign. I thought this said fucking flames. I love the way she gets the jump of the samurai. <laughs> oh, do they even have like little, uh, oh, they do. <laughs> They're like, what the fuck? Wait, you were done. Uh, physics? Excuse me? <laughs> Say these dudes. Oh, I love that. And dude, Here. the way that they use these little like drop down paper slip things, I don't know, I, there's probably like a specific term for them, I don't know what it is, but I fucking love this style. Hell yeah, give me epilepsy! That's my wife right there, my epileptic wife! Ah, dude, are you, ah, stylistically, come on. I was, oh my God, these are so cute. I just noticed, I thought that these were like in-game renders, but they're actual like custom 2D little cards. Oh, it's so cute. Also, yeah, the little like dot matrix uh, drop shadow behind her. Never even noticed that too. There's like a ton of little details on her stingers. That's really cool. One, two, three. Oh, I love, dude, the, it's, it's like a combination of like classic Japanese paper craft with like modern pop art. It, it's such a cool combo, right? It's beautiful. Aww. Here we go. A little breather. <laughs> With the homie, love. The things that they do with these samurai dudes is so funny. Ah, oh, beautiful. Beautiful, isn't it? It is. Wake up! Like that, you're gonna love this. <laughs> A festive reprise. Oh, Sayu? I don't even remember her being in here. What is with all the short stacks sabotaging these demos? I mean, I'm not complaining, but it is a trend. <laughs> getting in the way next time. Although, if you wanted to make yourself more useful, you could try wearing something a little more fun and festive, or pretend to be ghosts oh to entertain the kids, so you know, liven up the atmosphere, I can't just- Uh, Yoimiya, they've already run off. Huh? Hey! I wasn't done No, go, go on. I'll always make time for you, my wife. I fucking love her so much. Alright, alright, yep, yep, easy S tier, yep, yep. Mm, cream of the crop, 10 out of 10. We actually don't even have to watch these last two because she's just so good. <laughs> okay, okay. I, obviously, I'm like, I'm playing it up a little bit. But 
Uh, I do think it's a really, really juicy demo. It's a toss up if I put hers above Eula or Hu Tao's. Probably below Shao's, because Shao's is, I, people don't give Shao's uh, demo enough credit for how fucking amazing it is too. But I love her character so much in the fireworks scene with the bandit dude. Oh, come on. My personal ranking is there. I think realistically she actually goes below Shao, but I put her below Albedo above Eula. I love it that much. I personally enjoy watching it that much. And now for the demo, I'm actually the most excited to rewatch because I watched this obviously before 2.1 came out, but I haven't seen it since completing the Archon Quest. So I want to see how all the symbolism and stuff stacks up now that we know what's going on with her. Deep in the heart of the city stands the lofty abode of the Raiden Shogun. She looks down upon her realm at mortal joys and woes and sees a world mired in impermanence. Hey, I just want to say too, Mihoyo, you knew what you were doing by going upside down like that. I'm just saying like, <laughs> they provide the goods and we, we truly cannot fault them for the perfection that they've uh, graced us with here and now. Thank you, Mihoyo. Very cool. Very nice. There's a lot of upside down imagery throughout the entire demo. By mighty lightning, she rules over the transients. Trivial yearning and petty passion. They vanish like a mist that the Shogun pursues. Unfettered and unperturbed, return. Oh my god, oh my god. What kind of editing would you like? The editor. Yes. <laughs> All, please. My god. My god, it's so clean. Fantasy. Yeah, now, I mean, we already knew that there was some kind of weird dual personality or like what have you going on with her. Now this framing makes even more sense, right? The fact too, right? A, her name is Shadow and she's literally, oh God, oh, look at this. Look at this little staticky goodness. But A is clearly the darkened, slightly translucent one. Plus you have Raiden with her eyes closed because she doesn't see the truth of how Inazuma's coping with the Vision Hunt decree. Reality is the stillness buried deep in Musa the Musa Gorge, nice. Great place this to show her using her burst, reality. right? Perfect spot for him. To oblivion. Any game that features sword play, where they do the, uh, I, I call it, obviously Sekiro didn't invent it, right? Th that right there, that like head bop, the overhead slash. I just, I always have to look at that as like the Sekiro move. And I love it. God, Jesus, they're going so fucking overboard with the editing. And I fucking love, oh, dude, look at this shot. Again, with A in the back with in her Euthevia compared to Ryan Shogun in the forefront. Oh my God, come on, dude. Oh my God, you can literally just still frame any one of these. And they just look like a fucking masterwork of effects. Are you, look at the dude. Look at this. Jesus. And now we're getting custo with it. Beautiful. Waking world, you seem woven from the stuff of dreams. All shall fade away. Wow. 100% all the extra context from 2.1 elevates this. That was such a trip, dude. Visually, audibly, gameplay wise, this is some of the best we've seen, period. Gut instinct right now is putting her top of S right behind Kazuha. It's hard. It's either her at number two or number three, and they're both very close. I think to me, Ace demo really only has one tone. It's like the embodiment of 
vengeance, but it's also kind of sorrowful, right? Like, she's lashing out throughout the whole thing. We have these three main styles of character demos. We have the ones like A and Shao that focus more on combat showcases while blasting us with a lot of special effects, and out of those, I think A's the queen. We have the more subdued, intimate demos like Albedo's or Ganyu's or even Child's, and out of those, I think Albedo has the most beautiful moment of them all. And then we have the stylistic ones, the demos that aren't afraid to break the mold, do something never seen before with the other demos like Kazuha or Hu Tao or Klee, and these are the ones I definitely prefer. I think Kazuha's from start to finish brings so many unique styles, between the, the haiku sequence, the samurai showdown, got the rewind stuff, right? The bridge animation. All of it goes hand in hand with his poetry and hip hop theme, and I value that variety and that thematic cohesion a little bit more than A's one style done really well. So for me, Kazuha just barely wins out over A. But there's one character demo that, in my opinion, encompasses all three of those styles flawlessly. One demo that has stood the test of time and has always been my benchmark for the perfect character demo. This thing released on November 29th, 2020 and shook up the way we looked at demos and what they were capable of showcasing. That character demo... We last left off is Zhongli. ancient Liyue, beset by an ocean demon and a mountain dragon. Rex Lapis mustered his adept eye. Hmm. I love that little frown. Like he's saying, bro, what are you talking about? That's not how it went. Here, that before he said let me out, show you. He spoke these words. This song, by the way, it's called Rex Incognito, and it is my favorite demo soundtrack to date. I remember, dude, when he first did the uh, the spear kick, I guess when he was showing off his combo, but that there specifically, man, when he did that spear kick, I was losing my shit. To date, I still think Zhang Li has one of the coolest normal attack combos in the entire game. He definitely has some competition, but Zhang's spear kick is everything, man. And then the big shield, of course. Also losing my shit, I was like, holy, what is the scaling on that thing? That was like eight dudes wailing on it at once. The fucking, oh, dude. The syncopated, the slow zoom in, cut in by the syncopation of the drums. Of gods and Come on! I wish not for dominion, yet I cannot watch the common folk suffer. This song is so good. I will have order. <laughs> oh. That right there. That right there is why this character demo is so supreme. The Madman timing not only his burst, but also the voice line itself to the bass drop. We'll have order. God. And then everybody collectively losing their shit when he petrifies them. God. <laughs> to cleanse the land and defend our safe harbor. <laughs> that was the first contract in Leo. And now, the final contract, too, has been set in stone. Start to finish, in my opinion, that is everything a character demo should be. It helps that Zhang Li is like one of the more important characters, right? So they had a lot to play off of. They didn't have to do a ton of exposition dump or anything because we already know who he is, more or less, right? I just, oh God. Easy S tier. I'm glad that I held off watching Zhang Li's until now after, you know, having watched Balls again. Because again, my tradition with watching these demos is I'll watch a new one, then come back and watch Zhang's to see if it can finally topple the king. The fact that I've literally seen this dozens of times and it still hasn't gotten old is a testament to the perfect balance it brings across all three demo styles. The pacing between action-packed gameplay showcases and his own introspection on Liyue just can't be beat. The way they sell us on his shield, his attack animations, and especially that burst is still the best they've done on selling a character's kit to this day. Hey, what do you say? One more burst bass drop for the fans? I will have order. While some of the demos like Xiao or A do have more over-the-top editing, personally, I think Zhang's editing is still fire, and honestly, I prefer having it a little more subdued to really let his kit do the talking. 
When I think Genshin Impact, Zhongli is the first character that comes to mind as the shining beacon of what the game represents. So I think it's only fitting that his character demo also stands as this perfect monolith. Some people might think it's overrated, and honestly, that's totally valid. I think any of these demos in S tier, or even A tier, could be someone's number one. But this is my list, and I would like to remind you that this is the objectively correct one. So what do you think? What are your top three character demos? Either way, it was a ton of fun to binge through all of these. Really was the perfect trip down memory lane. Thanks a ton for watching this huge beluga. If you enjoyed it, hitting it with a like and subscribing really does a lot to help me out, and I'll see you for whatever the next video may or may not be.